and welcome back to episode 11 of Savage Realm. As always, Brock here. So, we're continuing on our way into the lime wool of uh, Savage Realm. Search for, ideally, <laughs> intersection 2. Oof, there's a spawner there. You know, maybe if we find a lime wool along the way, that might be okay. But ideally, we're searching for ah, the lime wool. Or not the line wall, sorry. Intersection 2. So we can continue on with our adventures. Our misadventures in the Savage Realm. <laughs> but, uh... Let's continue on. Oh. Ew. Continue on. And search for it. All the good stuff. Damn it. I was so close. I didn't get the switches, the witches to hit me, but <laughs> still got poisoned. Well, at least it's not the devastatingly horrible poison of the witch. What are you doing down there, Enderman? Ooh, there's a chest over there too. Have I been over there? No, I don't think I have. I might have to wander myself over there at some point. All right, so what do we have? Oh, oh, oh! A lot of Slime Riders. Oh, there's some ranged ones, too. <laughs> I kind of like the Slime Riders. They're cute. They're not very threatening. Well, the melee ones aren't very... Oh, God. The mar melee ones aren't very threatening. These uh, Slime Warriors. The ranged ones, however... That's a different different story altogether. Those ones are a bit, a bit more threatening. <laughs> the ones I don't particularly like. Um, let's see if I can in here. Hi, spider. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Ranged ones are the ones I don't particularly like. <laughs> um, so let's see. What have we done since last time? Um, I did a bit of farming of the um, those melee slime riders over in one of our spawners we have torched up at the beginning of the area. Um, just so we could complete our mob statue that we have in base. Um... Uh, so that that took a while. I did some other special things with it, which I'll let you guys know about once we get back to base. Uh, I'm sure you'll visually see it anyways, but we'll uh, we'll go a little bit more into detail when we get back to base. Um, aside from that, um, I think that's kind of the big thing I did since last time. Oh, big another big thing. Um, legendary rocket boots. So I discovered. I'm sorry. I just need you to stop tapping near me. Um, I discovered an issue with the legendary rocket boots um, since last time. Um, the issue being that if you, so long as you had the legendary rocket boots on your person, um, oh, I spawned some mobs. I did. Uh, so long as you had the legendary rocket boots on your person, um, and you were wearing a pair of boots, uh, you could get the jump boost effect. Uh, this is was. Quite a bit of a game-breaking issue. Um, not so much like the um, XP bottles that were dropped from the mobs versus the XP bottles we got from the chest. Um, not stacking. That kind of a trivial issue. But um, the jump boost um, from not wearing the rocket boots was, is I would say, is a pretty game-breaking issue. So um, communicate with Rose, or Rose Crows. Um, and we worked out the way to fix the um, issue with the jump boost um, and I believe he put out an update on his forum thread for um, a new version of the map with the fixed issue and some other I saw that spawner over here other minor issues fixed or features added um, however if you are you know playing along the map with me um, and you are running into the jump boost bug um, where you're getting the jump boost even though you're not wearing it um, I'm sure if you're if you saying please <laughs> nicely enough um, crows will give you some information on the thread as to um, how to fix the issue um, so again if you are experiencing that jump boost issue um, and you'd like to get it fixed I would suggest to leave a nice little comment over on the thread for the map, and uh, I'm sure Kuros will give you some a little 
description as to how to fix it. All right, so let's continue on dealing with these horrible, terrible mobs. Thank you. Horrible, terrible cave spiders. Give me that damn cookie. <laughs> Give me it. I need this cookie. Get rid of you. Abomination. Kill witch cave spiders. Who thought of that terrible idea? <laughs> Only a bastard, bastard of a map maker would do that. I'm looking at you, crows. I'm looking at you. I know you're not the only one that would do that. Maybe it's just a map maker thing. <laughs> map makers are horrible, terrible people that want nothing more than sadness and despair. I, I, sp I speak from experience. I know when I watch people play uh, some of my maps, I... Uh, I cackle a little bit when they die. <laughs> Am I a horrible person? Probably. Is it funny? Absolutely. Alright, so what do we got in here? Um, polished granite. Granite entitlement. I will nab you. Uh, cookie. XP. Ah, they don't stack. Uh, fortune. We'll grab you. Here's a... Oh. There's a power bow in here. My name all over it. However, I don't want to carry it on me at the moment. Uh, it might be one of those things. Arrows. Grab those. One of those things that we nab off screen. Uh, it's one of those things where we could use to slowly combine other bows together and potentially upgrade our bow. Um, or just use as a backup kind of thing with should we die and lose all our stuff. Which is totally possible with how many times I've died already in this map. <laughs> I've died more times in this map than I have, I think, in Ragecraft 2. And probably the last, like, three maps. I, uh, this map is, a uh, a little more brutal. Alright. So, let's see. Oh. Ooh. What else can we talk about? Um. So! Um. Uh, you may have noticed, for those of you who watch the Tuesday, Thursday... Uh, the episodes that I sometimes <laughs> put out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, most, more specifically I'm talking about the Let's Make a Mini CTM. Um, so, I've been, ooh, uh, last couple weeks I have not really put out any content for uh, the Let's Make a Mini CTM series. Uh, the first week of it, I'm not putting out stuff. Ah. Uh, the first week of not putting out anything for it um, was due to uh, being a bit busy trying to actually get a job. As much as I, <laughs> as, as much as I detest it, um, jobs are important for that income revenue. Uh, so I've been, I was a bit, a bit, a bit busy um, trying to do some uh, job hunting related stuff. Um, and I think I mentioned that before, uh, last episode or something, maybe, um, that I was, I did that. Um, however, um, this week, um, I was a bit more busy with map making, not mini map map making, but actual map making of, a uh, Fractured Realms. I know, one of those, one of those names we don't speak of very often. <laughs> uh, but I actually was doing... Actually, this pretty much this whole week, I've been actually pretty active with mapping for Fractured Realms. Um, I remade the White Wool area, which was something that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, we just never got around to it, um, just because of not really... I haven't really been... There we go. I haven't been super motivated to work on the map. Um, and... Uh, oh, God, no! I have a... Uh, actually been quite motivated as of recently just because of um i think i talked about this last episode as well mc edit <laughs> i've been doing a lot of mc editing Ooh, spar and a chest ah damn it oh there's a spawn over there too oh where am i I'm getting lost um so mc edit has been invigor oh jesus christ uh, mc edit has invig reinvigorated my uh, my wanting to do some map making so I've been kind of 
using a lot of that time to actually work on Fractured Realms, which really, realistically, is probably the map that I have the... Um, <laughs> I really need to work on the most. Just because I've been in dev for that map for over a year, and have made little to no progress, just because of ah, having to remake goddamn areas. And... Ah! Okay. Having to remake areas, um... Okay. So that has kind of put a damper on, you know, the release of that map. Oh, 40 levels. Jesus. I'll be so happy when I find that enchanting table. <laughs> but, uh, I've been pretty motivated to work on Fractured Realms as of recently, and I figured, um, I mean, this is a project that I've, I've been wanting to finish and work on for a long time, um, so I would rather kind of, I hear something, I don't know, I'm a little scared, um, <laughs> uh, it's one of those projects that I've been wanting to finish for a long time and just haven't had the motivation to work on. Um, and I figured while I have the motivation, I might as well use it for, uh, you know, motivation for map making. I might as well use it on uh, Fractured Realms just because, like, the sooner I get it done, <laughs> the sooner I can work on another project and the sooner you guys have some something new and hopefully exciting to play. So... Instead of kind of trying to divide my time, oh, fine. Ooh. Uh, divide my time between multiple projects, I decided to. Um, it'd probably be best to um, kind of put the let's make a mini CTM on hold for now um, and work on Fractured Realms. Now, again, this doesn't mean that the the mini CTM uh, is abandoned. Um, we are just ah oh, shit! I don't like the sound of that. Um, it's not abandoned, it's just put on hold for the moment while I uh, kind of work on Fractured Realms. And should I uh, lose the meditation again to work on Fractured Realms or, um, I guess, finish it, um, we'll head back over to the Let's Make a Mini CTM series and continue on with that. Um, but again, for now, I think we'll put it on hold and uh, I guess we'll play something else um, in the Tuesday-Thursday slot. Um, I was thinking of, um, where are you? Slimes, you're making things worse. I can't hear. Over. I can't hear everything over your incessive, 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 persistent fapping. <laughs> no, shut up. Um, where are you? Sp gas spawner? Right here. <laughs> um, can I find you? Yes, I can. Oh, going down. Well, I'm, uh, at least happy that that is not, um, floating gravel. <laughs> that could have been a way to kill me right there. And I'm surprised crows didn't. There's always a possibility on that one. But that would have been the worst possible thing to do. <laughs> Make them all like floating gravel or something, and the player like breaks the spawner and it collapses, and you fall into the, the lava. Cry. And actually, ooh shit, I think these gas might have increased blast damage on them or increased um explosion uh, power on them because this is the kind of block that you don't normally blow up um, by gas. Gas can't blow up these blocks. Or can't blow them up very well. And it seemed to have blown up a good three blocks or so. Um, so I'm going to have to be very careful about these gas. They appear um, to be extra extra strong. Okay, we got a spawner over there. Um, I'm safe over here. Ew, that kind of looks disgusting up there. <laughs> the terrible looking. Horrible, terrible. Uh, realm coin. Fantastic. I kind of wish there were more realm coins, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. Well, they still can be, but I kind of wish. 
I must say it. I kind of wish that either there were more realm coins, at least as of thus far. Ooh. Oh, 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 I hear a ghost. Running away. Um, I kind of wish there was more realm coins so I can take advantage of the um, the trades more. Um, or one of those things where some of the traders weren't active, maybe. Um, or maybe until certain points in the map. That way you could give out more realm coins or make the uh, purchase for the realm coins cheaper. I see you way over there. Oh, a little higher. No, a little lower. All right. Yeah. Um, because I'd really, I, I'd really like to use those uh, realm going traders more often. But unless I'm gonna sit around farming spiders and um, other mobs for the cookies and um, the the lucky apples, really, it doesn't seem that you get much um, trading done into the the realm. Realm coin guys. Sure does how I'll get quite a bit of uh, entitlement, which I'm quite happy about. But uh, it doesn't seem that I get to buy a lot of entitlements. I think I've bought in two, two maybe. And I'd sure like to. <laughs> I'd sure, sure love to buy some blocks. Blocks or armor? Oh boy! I hear a ghast. No, nope. excuse me, guy. Um. Ah! Okay. Uh, okay. So we're gonna have to deal with that other gas spawner, as much as I would love to keep it around to farm gas tears. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have other opportunities. Oh my god, a forest fire! I'm sure, we'll have other opportunities to do so. What's the easiest way to get over there? Uh, maybe. Oof. Maybe our Legendary jump boots might be a, might be a good use at this point. Da, 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 da. Fire, I would ask that you not do what you're doing. Making things more of a hassle for me to get around. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Ow, no. So don't have to worry about the slime. The slime blocks burning. As far as I know. <laughs> slime blocks. Don't burn. Oh, oh god. Okay, can I? Oh. Oh boy. Huh. 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 Of course there's a stick. Why wouldn't there be a stick? Can I hear it? They're not, uh, there's not hidden, hidden, uh, creepers, flaming creepers coming up to me. That would be terrible. <laughs> out of the depths rises the flaming creeper with a wither effect on him. His hatred spills out into the overworld, killing all that dare venture forth into his, doma into his domain. The flaming creeper of hell. Crimson hellfire. rid of you um, I think we can swap our boots back out uh, oh so one thing one nice thing about these diamond boots is aside from we pretty much have infinite diamond boots now <laughs> um, is that we can actually combine these uh, rocket boots um, together to get a fresh vanilla pair of diamond boots uh, this has some pretty good implications is that we have pretty much <laughs> infinite in Enchantable diamond boots for the rest of the map starting from the end of intersection one slash near intersection two I would assume uh, Which is overall <laughs> Would be fantastic Okay, what do we got over here? Um, oh cave spider Where did your little buddy spawn from? Where is it? I know it's around here. Is that it? Nope. That's not it. I'm not gonna worry about that Is there something down there? Maybe. Um, so yeah, we have infinite diamond boots for the rest of the map, which is overall fantastic. Um, and once we get some, once we get the enchanting table, 
Assuming Crows gives it to us anytime soon. <laughs> we'll be able to do level 30 enchants. Well, assuming we have an enchanting table anytime soon and Lapis Lazuli, we'll be able to do level 30 enchants for on Diamond Boots for pretty much ever. I'm super excited for that, though. <laughs> um, do I have a, a moment of peace over here? Let's hope. Um, chain set entitlement. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, we had gotten one chain set entitlement before, um, which gave protection one and breaking two, I believe. Um, so that will give us a second set that we can anvil together. Um, uh, projectile protection. Yeah, I'll also grab it. Um, coal blocks I'll grab. Makes, makes, uh, me have to farm less. Oh, no, 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 no. Makes me have to farm less coal. Which I'm quite happy. <laughs> quite happy that Crows is giving us all these uh, coal, coal blocks and stuff. Definitely makes things significantly easier. Um, let's just eat this. Alright, now I have a lot of stuff on me. Now do I want to continue on or back up? I could probably, let's just do this over here. This will make things easier. Hi, Airman. Nice grass block you have there. I really wish, now this is something I've, I've wished for for a long time. <laughs> I really wish that if you killed an Enderman, it dropped whatever block it was holding. Um, that would be a nice addition to Enderman. Um, Alas, that will probably never happen. Um, Alright, so let me grab a few blocks. I think we need five, five of these bad boys to give us a double chest and a workbench. That's three, four, five. Um, we'll set up a double chest here real quick to deposit some stuff. Um workbench that way we can let's drop that for now that way we can drop all our stuff let's put it right here all right perfect perfect uh that way we can oh my sword's not doing too well either but i think it'd be good enough for now uh that way we can continue on for at least a little bit more and not have to worry too much because a lot of this stuff it's definitely not stuff I need to be carrying with me. And it would probably be in my best interest in not carrying them anyways. Um, just in case. Um, okay, I think. Helmet's not doing the best, but I think I'll manage for a little bit more. Sword's not doing the best. We'll have to repair that when we get, the, when we get back to base. Um, let's explore a little bit more further ahead um, before we head back to base and repair up. Um, Okay, so we got something here. Is there any pathways over to it, or are we going to have to make our own? Looks like we're going to have to make our own. Oh, boy. Okay, what are we going to deal with over here? I think you're a natural creeper, because crows does not use any natural spawns and or natural mobs and spawners in here. Um, yeah, we'll just make a little pathway over like this. Well, just boop you a little bit. Oh, well, found out there's some. some ah. Oh, ah. Okay. Um. So we got some of these skelly riders, skelly slimes, and the cave spider witches over here. Okay. If I can get over to the spawners quick enough, I think we'll be okay. We should be able to... Yeah, I think we can do it. Oh, 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 oh. hello. That was a weird lag spike. Alright, that was simple enough. Not bad, not bad. Almost looks like a stair staircase up there. Trippy design. 
Ooh, boy. Um, that doesn't look friendly. And I don't... Ooh. You. Um, you know what? I think I have an idea. <laughs> um, I think it's a good point. I guess maybe to head back, uh, repair some stuff, bring back our loot. Um, and I could probably show you guys what I did at base since last time. Um, I think that's a good idea. Let's collect our stuff, head back to base, and um, deposit stuff. And um, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys back over there real quick in a second. All right, so we're back. Um, and as you can see, we did. We uh, got our head for the mob in the area we're in now. Um, but I did do a little something something. <laughs> One of them is more obvious than the other. <laughs> a little something something. Um, I did use a few commands to um, add arms to the uh, armor stands and add uh, to miniaturize this guy uh, just so um, it would be funner. Um, I mean, we could give each of the mobs their weapons they use in the area and uh, kind of make them kind of almost like a little monument of our own. <laughs> um, now, luckily for us, it doesn't give us any advantage. Um, uh, we'll, I'll get over to you a second, dog. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Um, it doesn't really give us an advantage, so it's I, I don't see it as really cheaty. Um, now, as to the persistent dogs that are barking at me yes that's right there's three of them now they got crap up got fleet foot and as uh <laughs> there was one suggestion that i heard a couple times as to uh having a new dog and naming it a specific name uh, we have bellow the lost um there was a a few suggestions for having a dog named bellow and uh <laughs> as bellow is in the wrong map bellow Bello, why are you in this map? You should not be here. You're lost. <laughs> so we have Bello the Lost. Um, I went ahead and added a new chest down here, which we'll just use specifically for our enchanted books and our bottles of XP to kind of free up a little bit of space. Uh, and I went ahead and used those two entitlements over at the um, shrine. Um, the granite, polished granite, um, worked just fine. Um, however, I ran into a weird issue where um, I threw the chain entitlement, and it gave me two sets. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Um, I might make a chest and store it over to the side here, um, one of the sets, as my... I don't know if this is cheating set. <laughs> You'll be right here. I'll uh, have to get get a ruling on that by Mr. Crows, but um, one of the sets, I, I'm pretty sure it gave me an extra set for some reason. Um, so I will not uh, keep that on my person. I'll store it over, well, I'm not keeping this on my person either, but I'll, I'll store it over in the not sure if cheat chest. And I will get a ruling on, on that bad boy. Um, but let me grab, oh, nope. Uh, a little bit more supplies, repair some stuff, um, and I'll meet you guys back over there with my dastardly idea of how we're going to deal with those spawners. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> yep, I'm doing it. Going the good old TNT route. Fire in the hole! Love the damn spawners to hell. Hell going down and dealing with them myself. Where are you? One more. Well, well, well. Hello there, Mr. Spawner. It appears we've not met. My name is TNT McGee. And I have a present for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, that definitely makes things infinitely easier. <laughs> uh, okay. Do we have... Oh, I think we should be able to safely get down. Or relatively safely get down now. Well. 
relatively. We did blow the hell out of the area, but I think uh, I think in the grand scheme it was worth it. Ooh, lava bucket. Grand scheme it was worth it. <gasps> Two pig eggs. Well, crows, you're too kind. <laughs> oh, don't knock me off. Oh, that would be surely my death. Diamond armor. I don't particularly need that. Oh, no, oh, oh. Wrong word. Alright. Where are the next ones? I know there's more. Over there. Alright, buddy. Oh no. You will make things terrible for me. I cannot let you do that. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you will not take my enjoyment away from me. Ah, damn it! Screw you, witch. Just making a goddamn mess over here. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I'll let you kill, kill. Ah, really? Screw you, witch. I'm gonna run over here. That's cheaty as shit. No, no, I need to. I need to leave. I need out before the witch kills me. I do not feel safe here. <laughs> do not feel safe at all. Definitely don't drink. No, that's poison. I should I should be fine drinking that. You know what? I'm an emergency drink this. I can deal with a couple seconds of poison. The, what, 30 seconds of regen? Hello? Satan, is that you? <laughs> Okay, I think we're safe. Pause a couple of these things real quick. Here you go. Oh, nope, nope. Get away from the witches. Um. Ah, okay, spider. Little bitchy cave spider. deal with you Whew. oh no no oh no 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 I'm a little confused as to why I saw that golden apple on the ground I could have been a lucky um uh, double checking us because I could have been a lucky no just a golden apple I might have detonated the chest no, I think I would have seen more around if I did. Ah, I see, you, buddy. Gotcha. Nailed it. Okay. So what do we do? Oh, wow, another one's fun. Okay. Um, do I continue going down? I think that's my play right now. Oh. That definitely... I think that was definitely a chest exploded. Hmm. How do I want to deal with this? I need to get down there somehow. And get rid of the spawners. I also need to get rid of this ghast. Who will persistently troll me if I don't. Okay. Um. Well, well, well. The question becomes what to do. Oh, no! Oh, son of a bitch. Witch! Why do you do this? What is your qualm with me? Okay, let's let's back up for a second. Let things simmer down over here. Try to deal with the uh, 
some of the other threats that are around the area. Fortunately, those potions are probably going to despawn. Maybe we can go up from from hey, go from the upper area. Oh my god, there's some witches. Maybe I just need to get rid of the witches. We need to kill the witch. We need to kill the bad man. All right. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. No, none of you. You. Skeleton. You'll just make things worse. Okay. Oh my god, there's some witches around. <laughs> witches everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> God damn with a gas. Damn it. Ah, oh, hell. This map, I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> well, I think that's the point to end the episode. I need to regear. Cry a little bit. Will you comfort me, dogs? Will you? So long as I feed you. Is that what it is? Well. Hell. Hell spells. Well. Aside from my bow and my sword. I don't think I lost too much valuable stuff. The boots are replaceable. The gear. Um... My gear's replaceable. The swords to some now. Um, the sword and the bow will be a bit trickier to prepare, replace. I mean, I could probably use some of the XP to combine some of these slimy bows and the power bows to make something that's maybe power three again. Mm, I may be able to get my bow back. Um, we could probably throw some unbreaking on this bad boy, and that will probably last a while. And it'll definitely make things. Uh, spawner breaking faster. Sword. My sword's the only one I can't really replace very easily. I mean, I could probably combine a couple of these and it'll be something, but. Five sharpness. Sharpness somewhere amongst the. Oh, we do have that power. Power 2 book. That will make things a bit easier to get our bow back up to snuff. Sharpness 2. Okay. I might be able to get a sword back up to par. We'll see. I'll do that for next time. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for joining. As always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you have a hug for me, <laughs> I would love one. But that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.